so this is the smart home monitoring system from Notion. Inside the pack, you get sensors, all sorts of sensors, opening up garages, fire alarms, that kind of stuff, water. And you get a receiver. So this is what connects to your Wi-Fi to upload all your data to the internet and connect these smart systems. So I got this system for free with my home insurance provider, but typically they cost for over a hundred quid if you want it yourself. So the first thing to do, let's plug in the receiver and then try to connect one of the sensors and then do some RF tests to see how much emission they're doing all the time. As you can see, the light is fading in and out. So I assume it's ready for being set up. So the next thing to do is download the app and set it up. So we see here that it's connecting to Crashalytics to ping Google to let them know that you're using the app. And I'm just going to allow mobile only when it's on and monitor all the URLs it does. So you need to create a new account. Next up, it's time to read the really long privacy policy. So they collect personal information, your email address, your phone number, and lots of stuff. They correct your location, your IP address, your zip code. They also collect other types of personal information, other information that's not included here. The sensors, we collect data from several sensors. They, the date, acceleration, moisture, sound, temperature. So they collect the sound. So you talking, they collect that. Okay, they don't collect your Wi-Fi password. That's a relief. They know when you're in your home and when you're away. So I guess they follow your smartphone where you're about. And they get other information from third parties. Uh, there's a lot of stuff here and uh, you just have to accept it so if i'm enrolled in a partner program i've read what partner program this uh, the website is broken so there's you pretty much you can't continue unless you accept everything which is disappointing ideally i would like to not be part of their uh, collection pro process but I guess it's kind of like a Tesla. You can't use it unless you give your privacy away. So account has been created. Do you have a Notion system installed in your home or are you accepting invitations to join someone else's system? I have no idea I'm installing a system. Okay, I'll just call it home. So they need precise location for the bridge. So I'm only gonna allow it this time because I don't want them to constantly use my smartphone. So that's kind of nice. So we plugged it in and it needs to be on 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. So it should find the bridge, which is right there. So unfortunately for me, I've been having errors on my Android phone, but luckily for you guys, you can also install it on iOS. If you do run into any issues with Android, I'm just gonna try it again and see if it will work. It just refuses to connect to the bridge for some reason. Bridge not found. All right, so I think I managed to get it working. So the bridge, oh no, it's erroring out again. All right, so I'm now on iOS because I've had no luck with Android. So install bridge, that is a bit buggy there. Look at that. Anyway, next, searching for bridge. All right, it took a while, but we're finally set up. Let's go for the settings. So you can choose the notification network out. Here's low battery and nighttime settings, integrations. You connect it to IFTTT, if this, then that, and Home Advisor, and pretty much that's it. It's time to install a sensor. Remove the green pull tab. So this sensor is now gonna connect to this fella, and this fella's connecting to our Wi-Fi. Then you scan the QR code. This one's gonna go into the garage on the garage door. And you've got lots of different options. So I'm going to say garage door right there. All right, so according to the on-screen guide, it says I should put the sensor at the top of the garage door. But in the video on the website, it says I should put it on the bottom of the garage door. So I'm just going to put it on the bottom for now, test it out. And it just says resyncing right now. All right, so i got it glued in at the bottom there. Just going to open up the garage door. And let's see. Mm. 
it says right now that it's open. Open right there. And on Android, it says that it's closed. So I'll refresh that. And it says it's now open. It's floating right there. So I'm going to close the garage door. And let's see how long it takes for it to update. All right, so I hit the recalibrate button because it wasn't working at first, but now it seems to be working. I even get a little alert when the garage doors open and the garage doors close. So that is pretty nifty. Time to add some more sensors. Now, just to note, one thing that's a bit annoying is that unfortunately the notifications seem to just add up. So you're going to get plenty of open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close. So now what I want to see is how much RF these little transmitters are producing and how much the base station is also producing. Just let, give me an idea or if I can store it near like a baby or not, probably not. So here I left my RF meter running for quite a bit and it fluctuates every couple of seconds. You do get a bit of microwatts and then every now and then you do get some milliwatts. Maybe every 30 seconds you get about two milliwatts and uh, generally it's on the microwatts level. And as for the receiver, that guy is also on the microwatts but yeah, maybe every 30 seconds or so, it does hit a milliwatt. But generally, I wouldn't put it next to anything fragile. All right, that is the Notion Smart Monitoring Home System. Pretty cool, I gotta say, pretty nifty. Let me know what kind of monitoring systems you guys use out there. Hope you guys found this video useful and enjoyed the show.